So the first system we put in was a piece assembly system, fully automatic. And um, we were really happy with the system. We had it for three or four years. It worked fine. It worked as advertised. But some of our frustrations were the one piece items that we had to load, and then someone had to take it off the offload rail to unload it. So we're touching that garment twice. And then um, also we wanted, when we scanned a garment, we wanted information from the computer. Okay, we wanted more control. You know, no crease pants or crease sleeves or what, whatever it may be. So we went and looked for an order assembly system. I was convinced I had to have dynamic splitting. The problem with, that we saw with dynamic splitting, and we didn't realize it was a problem, was a problem for quite some time, but when the order was ready, it took five to 10 seconds for that invoice to print. So what my girls would do instead of waiting on the invoice to print to put on the order, they'd turn around and scan another piece. Well, that would get complete before this first invoice printed out. Now I got two invoices and two orders. Now we're mixing up orders. Okay, so it was painful to wait on that to print. We became inefficient at the assembly bay, and we were mixing up orders. We used that one for about two and a half years, and at that point, we were in design phase to build a new plant, and we were ready to go ahead and commit to a piece assembly again, fully automatic with a bagger uh, for our new plant. And going to the Atlanta trade show, I'd already made up my mind. At the Atlanta trade show, I stopped by the Quicksort booth and met with Brett and looked at his conveyor and I was convinced immediately when I saw his conveyor move that that was the one I had to have. It was so much more efficient. It got from point A to point B very quick. When we were designing for our new facility and we were originally thinking we were gonna go with piece assembly, fully automated piece assembly, um, we were convinced that that was the only way to go because we were looking to double the growth of our business, double our piece counts. And we thought that'd be the only assembly conveyor that would handle that growth. The more we looked at it, and after I saw Quick Sort and Brett at the trade show, um, we realized that we could just simply add an, another one of his conveyor, we could add another bagger, and it made more financial sense for me to go that route. I didn't necessarily take up more of a footprint, I spent a whole lot less money to do it, and I'm just as efficient. To draw a picture, if I can, in words with our old order assembly, we would load about 150 pieces per hour. We process between 200 and 225 an hour. So throughout the day, we would start having a bottleneck at our assembly conveyor. Um, by the end of the day, our pressers would be done, they would be gone, and my gal loading the conveyor would be here for another hour and a half, sometimes two hours, depending on the day, just loading to finish the day. With quick sort, uh, we load up to 250 pieces per hour and maybe more. So at the end of the day, there is no bottleneck at the assembly conveyor. So when the pressers finish, my assembly girl finishes and we all leave at the same time. The reason I chose quick sort after looking at it, and it has proven true since I put it in my plant, out of the three conveyor or assembly systems I've used, it's been the most cost effective and most productive system we've had in our plant.